Okay, I got a question for you guys. How many of you guys would trade your boyfriend or your girlfriend for a free car? Don't lie now, I know some of you guys are thinking, well, it depends on the car. <laughs> okay, that was a rhetorical question, but today we were testing out that very concept. Will your girlfriend trade you for this car? Well, it's a nice looking car, but I think I look better. <laughs> So hopefully not. We'll see though. Jay's girlfriend Alexia is in the market for a new used car. So today we're going to see if she ends up leaving him in order to get that car for free. Hello? Hey, I was just making sure you're still meeting up with my boy later about the car. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm going to be on the way right now in 10 minutes. Prior to this day, we had Jay inform Alexia that a friend of his was selling his Toyota Corolla at a price that was too good for her to pass up. Upon intriguing her, Jay then connected Alexia to that supposed friend who actually happens to be our friend Alex. Alex communicated with Alexia and set a date and time for her to come check out and test drive the car, which of course is today. What Alexia doesn't know though is that after test driving the car, Alex will offer to give it to her for free if she agrees to go on a date with him. We're gonna be setting up this camera in the car and then we're gonna put something over it in order to hide it, more than likely like a hat or like a sweater and stuff. Back for another one, about to sell a car. Hopefully she curves me like she's supposed to, we get a loyal one. But um, let's go man, this should be a lot of fun. All this waiting is nerve wracking. Have you ever done anything like this before? Never, and I probably never will again. This is too <laughs> much for me, man. I'm really nervous over here. I can't take this. I would not trade you for a car. Oh, I, I would prefer you over Bring it in. Oh, oh. Bring it in. <laughs> All that was left to do now was play the waiting game. Soon we will find out if Alexia would be willing to trade Jay for Alex and a brand new car. Now, no, this video is not sponsored by Toyota. It's actually sponsored by Raid Shadow Legends. If you're looking for an epic RPG game that lets you play in both your mobile and your PC computer, then look no further than Raid Shadow Legends. I like this game for a couple of reasons. Number one, the graphics are insane. Number two, there are a lot of characters to collect. And number three, the raid bosses are crazy and intense. I've been playing it for a while, and one of the champions I love using is Astralon. I mean, just look at this guy. This guy's a total beast. Now, this month, Month, Raid released a lot of new amazing clan features and improvements. There are new quests for you and your clan members and a brand new clan shop that gives you access to some very powerful items. There are also new champions to collect from fragments in the Doom Tower and a lot of events and competitions to take part in. So hit the link in the description or scan the QR code on the screen in order to download this game. New players are going to get a new epic hero called Shonaru, 200k silver, 1 XP boost, 1 energy refill, and 1 ancient char. You're going to find your extra rewards here in your inbox for the next 30 30 days only, so go download Raid today. But alrighty guys, back to the video. Now we chose to use a Toyota Corolla in our test because we were able to price the car in both Alexia's budget and at a realistic, lower than usual price. We wanted to price the car at a good deal that was too good for Alexia to pass up, that way she could come check out the car, but at the same time, we didn't want Alexia getting suspicious and thinking like the car was a scam. Do you think she's gonna pass? What do you think? Shit, I hope, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> she's cool, man, she's like super cool. She's just really friendly. I feel it, I feel it. Now getting Alexia Alexia to come to this park was the easy part. The harder part was getting Alexia to come here by herself. And we wanted her to come by herself because Alex was gonna ask her on a date. Like imagine if Alexia rolled up with her dad. Alex would have to be a savage to ask her on a date in front of him. Now, of course, there was no guaranteeing that Alexia would come by herself, but to try to stack the odds at least in our favor, I texted a couple of my friends and I asked them, if you were gonna go check out a used car that you found on Craigslist, would you check it out by yourself or would you take someone with you and why? Now, some of my friends said that they would go alone, but the majority said that they would take someone with them for either a second opinion, for safety concerns, or because they knew nothing about cars and they just wanted to make sure that the car was a good deal. So after gathering this data, we came to the conclusion that there was a very high probability that Alexia would also come to the park with someone else because of these very reasons. So we decided to address these concerns. We had Jay re-emphasize to Alexia that the car was in very good, practically new condition. This would hopefully ensure that Alexia didn't think that the car was a ripoff. We also had Alex set the meetup day and time in the middle of a weekday when most people would be working, including Jay himself. This would hopefully ensure that if Alexia asked someone else to come with her, hopefully they will say that they couldn't because they had to work. Now granted, yes, Alexia could have just told Alex to reschedule to a different day, but we try to be ready for that too. In one of the initial texts that Alex sent Alexia, we had him emphasize that he was going out of town and could only show Alexia the car at his preferred day and time. Being that the car was such a good deal, Alex also told Alexia that he couldn't guarantee that the car would still be available at a later date. 
<laughs> and then finally, and most importantly, we had J vouch for Alex. This would hopefully ensure that Alexia wouldn't think that Alex was a creep. Is it illegal to ride butt naked in your own car? I feel like that should be legal if you have tents, right? And so with all of our bases covered as best as we could cover them, and with Alexia on her way, all that was left to do now was simply wait. Soon enough, after about a good 20 minutes, Alexia ended up giving Alex a call that she was here. Hello? Oh, Alex is getting a call on his phone. I'm here, I just parked. I'm not sure where you're at. <laughs> all right, let me get out and look for you. Oh, I think I see you over there. Okay. All right. Ugh. So Alexia just gave Alex a call right now that she is here. Did you see her pull in? I didn't even see her pull in. Alex right now is getting out of his car and going towards her. He is waving her down, it looks like. Okay, there she is. Oh, she parked all the way over there. Wow. Oh, let's get this pop in. Ah, don't worry about it. You're getting your steps in. Okay, here we go. You ready for this, Jay? She better not fall for it. She's make, he's already making her walk hella far and stuff. It's already a bad <laughs> bad situation. How you doing? Good, how are you? I can't complain. Did you have a good drive over? Yeah, it was pretty bad. The traffic? The usual. Yeah. I'm Alex. Alexia. Alexia, nice to meet you. So after days of preparation, hours of setting up, and about 30 minutes of just waiting around, Alexia had finally arrived, and this test was officially underway. Here we go, man. This is what you're getting. Okay. This is 2020. See, super new, super clean. Ooh, nice. As planned, Alex gets right into it and begins letting Alexia check out the car. Check out the miles It only has about like 6,000, 7,000 miles on. Other than a little bit of bird dookie on it, it's real clean, you yeah? <laughs> I really like the rim. I said, hey, throw the black ones on there, you know? Yeah. Well, get in, get in, check it out. Right. Alexia jumps into the car and begins checking out the interior. Everything so far has gone off without a hitch, but this is where things could have gotten dicey. Remember, in the back seat of the car, we had our hidden camera, and we didn't want Alexia to find it because then she's either gonna get suspicious or really creeped out. So to prevent this from happening, we locked the rear doors and prayed that Alexia was cool with checking out the back seats from the front of the car. I'm gonna take that charger with me. You're gonna get the car just. Oh, stuff. nothing extra? Okay. <laughs> Why are you getting rid of this car? I just, I have a couple other cars. I don't need it. Okay. Plus, it's always good to help somebody out, right? I could just go sell it back to a dealership or some shit like that. But if you need it, we can work something out. Another way that we try to prevent Alexia from finding her camera was by having Alex emphasize and draw her attention more to the exterior features of the car versus the interior. You see how I turn the tire right here just a little bit, give you that fast and the furious look? That fast and the furious look with the tire right here. I don't even know what number they're on right now. Freaking infinity. What do you think, what are your thoughts on Alex? Alex, he's cool, he's a really cool guy. You know, he got the height and everything else, I guess, but you know. It's the height. <laughs> <laughs> That's all it takes nowadays, just be 6'3". Six, 6'? Six. <laughs> Let's pop the trunk. Plenty of room back here. I don't know what you wow. get down with. Let okay, you know. my trunk doesn't have like this. It's like yeah. literally cardboard and carpet. Cardboard and carpet. <laughs> yes. and so we're upgrading on the How are you feeling so far? How, how is it so far? It's not looking too crazy so far, but I don't know. This guy has a lot to say. He has a lot of so personality, I'm getting, dude. I'm getting kind of nervous. I'm sweating <laughs> in this car, man. <laughs> <laughs> Alex has a lot of personality, dude. He's got That's great personality. Uh -huh. he, ma he makes everyone just feel very comfortable, you know, so. All right, so what you thinking? Like, can you see yourself in this? Completely. Going out Saturday night? Yeah, I need yeah. to tint the windows a little bit. A little bit? Yeah. Oh, you don't want to be seen, huh? What kind of car does she currently drive? It's a... Uh, she drives a Malibu 2012. Oh, nice. Not a bad car, honestly, yeah, so. Yeah, it's not some bad. 2012, you said it was? I like it. Uh, you want to... In the block, yeah. take it for a little test drive. Uh, <laughs> All right. Yep. Scoop that seat on up immediately. A little bit more. Yeah. Okay. Almost there. Sorry. <laughs> so after checking out the car, Alexia was now ready to take it for a test drive, which means that we are inching closer and closer to the moment where Alex will be offering Alexia the car for free in exchange for going on a date with him. Okay, so they're off. So we're gonna lose them on the mic right here. I'm hoping she makes me proud. Keep my fingers crossed. Fingers and toes crossed. <laughs> fingers and toes crossed. 
So we have lost them on the mic because they've gone out of range, so they left for the test drive. Everything seems like it's going good though, no? So far so good, man. So far let's, so good. Let's hope it stays that way. Yeah. So how you feeling? I know it's always weird hopping into another car. It just is, driving with the brakes and everything. It feels like way smoother than my car. My steering wheel is bigger than this. Okay, do you think anything's gonna happen in the test drive? <laughs> do you think we're gonna miss something? Well, she better focus on the road, <laughs> so nothing better happen. <laughs> the good thing is, is that there's a camera rolling inside of the car. So if anything, after the test, we'll be able to like watch it and listen in to see exactly what happens. But I don't think anything's gonna happen. I think they're just gonna test drive it, bring it back here, and then that's when Alex is gonna make his move. And you know uh, what? I like the optimism. You like the optimism? Good job. <laughs> I like that. Nothing will happen. Let's manifest it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing at all is going to happen. <laughs> Nothing is going to happen. <laughs> Go ahead, Bluetooth. Yeah. Bluetooth. Oh my gosh, I thought those were all like hookups for you, like the charger thing. Yeah, he's going to charge like, 10 phones. Yeah. When he's charging back. Right. I mean, feel free to open it up a little bit. You can go faster than 30. Alrighty, so on a scale of 1 to 10, how confident do you feel right now? Honestly, I feel like a 5 out of 10. Like, okay. I'm confident, but I'm also pretty nervous because okay, so you never know, man. That's good. That's Under good. the right circumstances, anybody can fold. Right, right. So, exactly. It's crazy. Are you prepared for the possibility that she might fail this test? I don't know. I have more faith in her than anything. After a good 10 minute test drive, Alexia eventually makes her way back to the park. Oh, here they are. Okay, we have them coming back now. Okay, we, got, we, we have them coming back, guys. We have connection again. Now, in order to get Alexia in perfect line of our cameras once again, we made sure to tell Alex to instruct her on where to park. <laughs> I feel like that's a black people thing. Black people always back in the parking spot. The moment of truth has finally arrived. Alexia has checked out the car, she has test driven it, and Alex will now offer her a huge fat quote unquote discount. The question now is, will Alexia remain loyal to her boyfriend Jay, or will she be willing to trade him for a relationship with Alex and a brand new car? All right, so what you thinking, man? I know uh, he told you the budget, yeah, I could do it though. Yeah? Okay, before we go any further, I have to address something here. See, unfortunately, after getting back from the test drive, Alex's mic didn't reconnect well and it kept cutting in and out. Here, check it. This is Alex's mic track. This is before the test drive, this is during the test drive, and this is after the test drive. See all these dips? These are the moments where Alex's mic completely cut out and we couldn't hear anything. Unfortunately, we didn't have any backup audio and at one point in this conversation, the mic completely cut out for good. So in summary, the audio will sound like shit at some points and I'll be voicing over other portions and yeah, I apologize, I'm really, really sorry. I was honestly not gonna upload this video because of this reason, but I decided to because trust me, it's still gonna be good. I'm saying you were looking real cute in the car, so I feel, I feel like you should really take this off my hand. For real, I thought you were a nice little deal. Um, I don't know what you got going on, but if you want to actually like maybe go out sometime, I'll throw you a deal, yeah, an even better deal. Yeah, I mean, we could throw some thousands off. Or depending on how we vibe, we can, I'll just oh, give it to you. You wouldn't. I told you, like, I'll, I'll bowling ball this car down the street and not even give a shit. I mean, I'm trying to help you out anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? My boy said you needed some help, so. I'm trying to upgrade, we can put you in this, have you looking sexy in this right here. I know you said you wanted to. Oh no, this freaking mic keeps getting out. Oh Jesus, RJ, RJ. His mic is either not reconnecting well or we're just too freaking far now. So one of the first moments where our mic cut out was when Alex was describing to Alexia the kind of date that he would take her on if she accepted his offer. Luckily though, we didn't miss much and we were able to somewhat reestablish a connection with Alex's mic. You know what I'm saying? We can go rooftop, pool. Yeah, even though you're hooking it up, but. Yeah, I mean, shit, you can leave your wallet at home if you want to. <laughs> it's really no big deal. I see the city. Yeah. I mean, it seems cool, but you know, I don't know about going out and stuff. Well, why not? It's not really, really an option for me. Why? All you gotta do is we can get in a car. We can do right now, honestly. Like, I got a little bit of free time before we gotta go. We can just go, go talk about right it. Now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we can discount just a little. We can call it like a little first date. How about that? Think about it too. Just go. <laughs> I always gotta think about it. Yeah. Ah, this freaking thing keeps cutting out. I'm so sorry, Jay. I'm so sorry, Jay. I'm so sorry, Jay. Try to read her body language, if anything. 
Did you not see how good we look together in that car? I mean, come on. I don't know. I mean, I feel like you already know. We'll have a lot of fun. Will Let's, we we'll have a lot of fun, girl. It's like, look at the conversation I feel like already. We'll like, go, and then uh -huh. he'll just like sit there and be like, and I'll just be like, uh. Can you see anywhere? Just like. You, okay, right now you're like trying to play the part. You're like, cool. This is me. In my car. This is me. And then you go out. You're like. Ah, uh, no, I'm not yeah. that person. I'm not that person. Phone stays in my pocket, you get my undivided oh. attention. Yeah. It's like going out, I'm all yours. Uh, I think I'll just pass. That's my baby. You're gonna pass? Yeah. You're gonna pass me and the deal? Yeah. That's what I love to hear. Oh, <laughs> my heart. Damn. <laughs> oh, damn. Rejected. Is he getting rejected? Ah, man, I gotta give it to you full price. You playing around. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'll just play it. I'll give you a discount, but are you sure? Like, I'm, I'm gonna give you a little chance to think about it a couple more times. Cause, hmm. Are you playing around? You have my sorry, sorry, we're losing them here. Now, this is where Alex is my completely cut out for good. But from what we heard, and after continuing to analyze Alexia's body language, it appeared as if she was just not going for it. Okay, we can't hear anything anymore, and I'm not trying to get you excited, Jay, but it looks like she is saying no. Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, I wasn't worried at all, man. <laughs> Rejected. <laughs> ah, feels so good. She <laughs> Wow, I'm so happy when I'm proud of her, man. So what a lot of you guys may not know because we hardly post passes on this channel is that whenever someone passes the test, we always have contingency plans. Obviously, Alex really isn't selling this car, but we can't let Alexia know that. See, it's not our job or place to tell Alexia that this was all a test. Jay's gotta be the one to do that. So to continue making this entire scenario seem real, Alex told Alexia that he was taking the car to get detailed in about two hours, and that if she really wanted it, she could take it off his hands then. Wait, so now what? Do we just let her walk? She She's leaving. You don't even have time to... Do you want to catch up to her and tell no, her No, yet? no, no. I'll, I'll <laughs> tell her about it later. I think some things are best left unsaid. Don't tell her about it later. Oh, Alex is calling. <laughs> <laughs> she right passed now. the test. That's all that matters. Hello? No. Yeah. <laughs> we love to see it, man. Hey, 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 but that's good for you, bro. That's good yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah, right. She's the one. That's what it looks like. We got to get married now. We got <laughs> Are you gonna tell her that you put her to the test or what? What's Absolutely it? not, man. I think I'm just keeping a secret for right now. <laughs> you gonna keep that to yourself? Huh? Yeah, she passed the test. That's the most important thing. That's all I right, care about. Right, right. <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> Okay, so I wanna ask you guys two last and final questions. The first question is, do you guys think Alexia passed the test? I personally think that she did. Now, do you guys agree or do you guys disagree? Being able to look back at the footage now and being able to make up the audio a little bit better, it did sound like Alexia was thinking about it. However, maybe she was just thinking about it because she felt awkward or uncomfortable or maybe she was just being nice. I don't know, what do you guys think? Now, the second thing that I wanna ask you guys is that if you guys were Jay, would you guys have stepped out of the car and told your boyfriend or your girlfriend that you had just put them to the test? Yes or no, and why? For me personally, honestly, I don't think I would. <laughs> Damn, dude! <laughs> shit's crazy, but hey, I survived. I can, I can finally breathe. <sighs> that was tough. <laughs> Wait, so now so you're really not going to tell her or really not going to catch up to her? If I tell her, I feel like that might be a bad move. It was such a good day. We just keep it rolling. <laughs> you know, I don't want to ruin anything. So it's all good. Do we post this video or do we not post this video then? Or? Yeah, she should see it on her own. Oh. I don't, don't want to tell her. <laughs> so she's just going to see herself? She's just going to see herself on YouTube? Well, at least she made the right decision. She's not going to look bad or anything. She deserves a date, definitely. Hopefully whoever's next girlfriend make or boyfriend makes the right decision just like mine did. Right. <laughs>